I mean, it's really great talking to both of you again today. I just love seeing the global impact that Cobra Kai's had. It's been such a treat. So congratulations today. Thank you, man. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Now, really, man, I want to start with you. This season has really been about legacy. As you look back at your time making these six seasons, how would you describe the legacy of Cobra Kai? Now, uh, I'll wait to the end of the the end of the show to describe that. Um, but the legacy, I think, is good. I think we've stayed true to the origin of the Karate Kid and what that all, is all about. It's honored that. It's expanded on that. It's made it, you know, relevant and timely for today. And uh, the, you know, I think that's the legacy is that you know to be able to to do it again and have lightning in a bottle twice in, in so many you know generations apart, a generation apart. So uh, and you extraordinary. Yeah, you really have done that too, which not a lot of these types of re remakes can say. Mm -hmm. Now, Ralph, thinking back, going back to the very beginning, thinking about you filming the first movie back in the 80s to now ending Cobra Kai, how has your relationship with Daniel, the movies, the series changed over time? It's, um, you know, it's I go, I go back to the different but same uh, Miyagiism. It feels <laughs> very different, but yet it feels grounded in the in the same. You know, I I've always... You know, from the get-go, I tried to play the truth of this character, what it, the truth was for a 15, 16-year-old kid moving to a different town, single parent, you know, and, and you know, being bullied, so that sort of isolated fish out of water. And then now, you know, decades later, to find uh, him successful, marriage, business, and then the thorn in his side, and he snaps back into, so it's... It kind of has essence uh, of of familiarity, but growth and maturity and wisdom, which certainly over these 60, uh, what will be 65 episodes when we're done, has uh, added more layers and depth and, and um, uh, you know, colors to it. You know, I think at the end of it, LaRusso is, has always wanted the best and looked out for the, you know, the good intentions. And even though he fails and skins his knees, he gets back up and he's trying to pay that legacy forward that was so important to him uh, in Miyagi. And now that is a little, you know, tainted based on some information he's finding and he's trying to come to grips with that. So it's just navigating life in, in, a, in a positive way forward. Well, we all need positivity right now, That's let me tell you. Sure. <laughs> I love that Daniel and Johnny still have this kind of frenemy attitude toward each other all these seasons later, but I want to spread some love here. William, what have you loved about working with Ralph throughout these last six seasons again? And Ralph, what have you loved about working with William these last six seasons again? Well, you know, I mean, we've become like brothers, and we were always great friends, but I mean, we became like brothers, I mean, mm -hmm. you know, so... Uh, you know, we we both are come from the same place with protecting and loving this franchise and the characters, and that's the root of it. But as we've been doing the show, you know, the more time we spend together, and I mean, we're, we we spend so much time laughing at the irony of this. <laughs> yeah, or, we do laugh at, know, at the fact that we're having the same <laughs> argument for forty one years. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's kind of wonderful. I mean, I think uh, from my perspective, seeing seeing William come into this from the get go. I mean, the stakes were high for both of us, but they were really high for him because it was um, l lesser known at that part of would, would we like this guy? Would we be open to this journey and coming in through the eyes of Johnny Lawrence? And, and he, you know, delivered that, you know, above and beyond. Um, and that just made me say, OK, let me get my sleep and let me know what I'm my lines because, uh, you know, he set the bar and uh, and we did that together. But it was that was a big part of of what drives uh, it all, how how much he takes, took it to heart, took it seriously and, and you know, delivered, you know, it was up at the plate. It was three and two count and he did not uh, he did not miss. So I try to yeah. do the same. That's why I love it. It's him. been great. See? Uh, huge compliments. <laughs> we'll find the moment. We'll yeah, find the moment. I have a few. Yeah, we're fine. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. I got the rap. C congratulations to both of you on such a successful both franchises, the movies. Like it's been such a treat. So thank you for the impact that this has had. I truly appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. All right. You're welcome. Take care.